Hi everybody, it's Crystal. Welcome to my channel, Bag of Day Crochet, where you will find uh, anything yarn or crochet related. So uh, thank you for joining me. And if you have not yet subscribed, I would appreciate it if you could subscribe. Um, and also, uh, please check out all my crochet tutorials. If you have not, I will put a link to all my tutorials i have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of them all free for you to enjoy down in the description box it'll just show you all of them all of them anything you could ever want to make and multiples of them and don't forget to give this video a like if you enjoy so um today i'm going to show you so <clears throat> michaels did a reset on their yarn now if you know don't know what a reset is it's when yarn companies they get rid of you know they they come out with new yarns for the spring line and then for their fall winter line so when they reset they usually reset in the fall or then the summer and then again at the end of winter so they're now putting out their <clears throat> winter yarns so i have some of them to show you and some of them i'll show on a later video actually i'm going to show you uh this one variety today a lot of people were asking me about it so let's go ahead and talk about it so um and i do want to before we move on say that um if you saw the video of me having a little bit of problem with michaels and their customer service that was all taken care of and everything's cool so <clears throat> michaels was very kind so we'll go ahead and um begin all right so i bought this online at michaels now <clears throat> this is a yarn um that they had it's called well this is called a uh, facet stone not facet stones i'm sorry facet facet yarns by loops and threads loops and threads is michael's house brand it can only be found at michael's now a couple years ago they had a uh, yarn called facet stones instead of just facet yarns instead of just the i, I hope i'm pronouncing that right anyways and they and then that was a couple years ago and then i seen this and i thought that it was going to be the same as the old one because the old one was super cool i really really liked it now unfortunately if you remember that yarn this one is not the same but it is similar but it's not the same so why don't we go over it it's still very pretty though so why don't we go over it here um and they i We'll tell you about the price and their colors I, I do have all the colors here um so i can show you them and describe them a little bit better to you because their website never shows quite <clears throat> what they really look like you know all that's with all yarn companies so this this yarn here is a roving style yarn as you can see the roving style means that it's just kind of like one plied it's my favorite style of yarn I do have a video about uh, roving, different styles of yarn. If you look in my playlist, uh, you called Yarn 101. I have a lot of yarn information there. So they classify this as a medium weight number four yarn, and it's 100% acrylic. It says hand wash <clears throat> and dry flat. I, you know, they've been saying that a lot lately. I've noticed even on acrylic yarns. I don't know why they're doing that. Um, possibly because. Uh, I've just seen it on regular acrylics too, but maybe because this is a rubbing style and it would have the tendency to fuzz out. I don't know. Um, that will be a downfall for some people or some people just might go ahead and wash it and dry it. Anyways, I always hand wash and lay flat, whatever I make. So it, that's not anything that is is going to, de you know, detour me from buying it. But um, um, let's, let's see. Uh, medium weight number four. It has a striping effect, as you can see from the scarf there. Very, very beautiful. This yarn might look quite familiar to you if you're familiar with yarns. Um, there's 279 yards, 3.5 ounces, or 256 meters, 100 grams. And it is made in China. So, um, <clears throat> if you've ever worked with the Red Heart Unforgettable, this is like a dead ringer for that. <laughs> it's pretty much identical to red heart unforgettable i like red heart unforgettable a lot so i like this one a lot but like i said when they when i seen that they came out with the uh, facet facet yarns again i thought initially it would be like their old one but it's not it's different 
it's similar but it's different so this is like i said pretty much a dead ringer for red heart or for red heart unforgettable which i like and it's got a lot of beautiful colors do you guys want to talk about them so but first these run at $5.99 and that's on a regular price. Now I do not think that's a bad idea, bad price considering today's market. I actually think that's a very, very good price for this yarn. And um, if you shop at Michael's, you can always get a 20% off coupon code. They have it right on their website and that would bring the price down to $4.79 a ball. You really can't beat that, really, yeah. I mean, like in today's market for a yarn like this, it's very beautiful, it's very shiny, it's very soft, and it's very scarpable. Like I said, if you've used Red Heart Unforgettable, you're pretty much, it's it's the same. <laughs> so, uh, we'll go over the colors a little bit now. They have 21 different colors, and they are all striped. So, it's all quite... Um, quite a large color selection to choose from i was quite surprised they had that many colors but not disappointed because it's always good to have good options to choose from so this one immediately caught my eye i actually saw another youtuber please check her out i'll put her youtube channel below yarn geek she went into michael's and showed this and this was it was the first time that i seen it it was at her inside her local michael's well my local's michael's didn't have it because i called them so i had to wait for it to come available online and then i got it so shout out to yarn geek thank you love your videos anyways please check her out she's wonderful all right so this one is called flame this immediately caught my eye because i think that is a very very pretty yarn um and i know a couple orange lovers on my side that will love this as well it's beautiful beautiful colors of orange and copper and a little, a little bit of yellow, yellowish orange. That's gorgeous. That's going to be, be beautiful. And I actually did buy six of these because I am going to turn this into a poncho. I already know what stitch I'm going to use. <laughs> uh, so that was one color that I got. I don't want to move on here. The colors that they have were very pretty. Most of them. Some of them are very similar to Red Heart Unforgettable colors. But that's okay it's actually uh i'll have to look up red heart so look at this one Ooh, that's pretty too this is very neutral i love a good neutral gray it's just grays so this is going to stripe out of stripe out as like probably three different colors of gray if i had to guess it's going to be very pretty the color of this one oh it's, it's very nice it smells very clean and it's very soft um this one is called silver yeah that's pretty appropriate i would say that is definitely silver it's very beautiful i like that one too a lot um it will be hard for me to choose a favorite but it's going to be hard to beat that orange one for me because i really love that one a lot but you never know there might be a beautiful brown one in here because i do brown is my favorite thanks for sticking and talking yarn with me you know i always appreciate it Ooh, ooh, that's pretty. Look at that one. So there we got a couple different colors of blue and a couple different colors of like green. That's gorgeous, gorgeous yarn. The color of this one we have here is called Sea Glass. Mm, that's beautiful too. I can see that being a very, very beautiful scarf. Look at that. It almost looks purple there. That's gorgeous. It's mm, a pretty one too. How could you ever choose? You're going to have to let me know your favorite in the comment section because I don't know. There's just so many <laughs> to uh, choose from. It's hard to choose a favorite. This one actually is very, very pretty as well. Uh, the color of this one is called Toffee. That sounds promising, like a color I might enjoy. And yes, it's very pretty too. Wow, I like that one. Look at that green. That's my favorite color of greens. We got some brown and a little bit of peachy pink. Ah, oh, that's gorgeous. That's gorgeous. A little bit of gray. Not much. That is transitioning there into a brownish gray when it goes off into that little bit of peach. That's a gorgeous yarn. A gorgeous color again. Very shiny. Very soft. Whatever you use this for, it's going to have a very nice drape. So it's going to work well for scarves. Uh, nice tops that you want to drape. A uh, nice drape with. Like I said, ponchos is what I'm going to make with the orange. I'll make scarves and stuff out of this too. Um, beautiful shawls would look very, very pretty in this. That is a gorgeous yarn. Toffee. Mmm. 
I'm going to put that in my fade pile too. I have a feeling I'm going to have a lot of faves. Now this one's called Ember. Oh, sounds like another color. That's just right up Bag of Days Alley. Mmm, that's pretty too. Let's see. Ember. Oh, that's gorgeous. Got a lot of colors up in there, you know. But they're really, they're a lot lighter. So you can see the very light greens. Um, some very, very light oranges. Got a little bit of light mauve in there and a bit of brown. Not much, just a touch. It's very pretty. I like that one too. It's nice. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Let me move these out of the way. This one I bought doubles of so I can make a, a shawl with a couple of them too. Shawls, ponchos, hard talent. All right. That's for me for my blue lovers. And this one. Lapis. Of course. Of course. Beautiful. So that's pretty much going to be all blues. You just got about four or so different colors of blue from about the darkest right here. And then it's going to stripe out to a very, very, very light blue. I mean, that's extremely light. Almost white. Well, it's not, I can't say it's white, but it's extremely light. So that's just, Lapis is a, a very appropriate name for that one. Very pretty. I like that one. I do. Colored. Man, their colors are just... The amount that they had was so shocking. Um, what we got here? This one is called Summer Sunrise. That's nice. That's pretty. So we're got we're gonna have some stripes of this kind of a sea greenish color, a uh, really light yellow into a golden yellow and into a purple. Again, that's gonna be very pretty. I like that one too. You know, I'm going to like them all, but then I'm going to, there are going to be a few that I favor more than others because of, you know, the colors of them. I do have a tutorial for this hat. If you look below it, my play, uh, my tutorial playlist down there, you'll see it. It's called My Chocolate Bon Bon Beanie. Okay, this is a uh, color Urban Sky. That's nice too. I opened it up a little bit so you could see inside of it. So ooh, that's got a little bit of a uh, marbling effect up in there. You see that? That's beautiful. So we got the uh, very like taupey tan color. Um, it's going to go off into the green and the blue and the brown. That's beautiful. I like the little marble there. That's the first, first I've seen it in any of these. See that? Interesting. That's very pretty too. Nice, nice. My video, my video, it's getting long. This one's called Juniper. Juniper. Let's see. Mmm, that's pretty. Get that one. Very, very pretty. I mean, we got uh, some <clears throat> really bright greens. And we got some little evergreen color here. Kind of in some purples. Kind of reminds me, and some purplish blues, it kind of reminds me, I guess, of a juniper tree. Um, because they get these purplish, bluish purple berries on it. I'm not sure what they're going for, the tree or the planet, but uh, it, whatever they're going for, it's very, very gorgeous. I like that. That's, that's pretty. You guys are like, when's it in? When's it in? <laughs> I don't know. The live colors up in this, uh, in this, uh, beyond variety, but that's nice. Like I said, it gives you a lot to choose from. This looks very similar to a Red Heart uh, one they have. Red Heart Unforgettable. This one's called Dark Ocean. I think it's the same color as one of Red Hearts. But that's okay. Yarn companies do that all the time. Very, very beautiful. Very, very shiny blues. Um, and pur dark purplish mauves. And here's some light mauve. And into some silvery, dark silver gray. Very beautiful. Transitions on that. Those are quite beautiful. They all have had nice transition effects from one color to another. I like that one too. I like them all. I'm just going to quit saying that I like that one too. No, I won't quit saying it. I don't know why. I'll probably just keep saying it. This one's very neutral gray as well, but it's a bit darker than the last gray that we saw. This one is called Storm. 
Yeah, so here's the other gray that we saw called silver. And you can see the difference there. This is a lot darker. Storm is appropriate color. So it's just like four or five different colors of gray, but they're quite a bit uh, darker palette than their, than their other gray one that they have. So that would just depend on the gray that you like. I like both, but I tend to lean towards more of a darker gray. I do think this one is a little bit prettier than the silver, but the silver is still very beautiful. I would, if I was to choose between the two, I would choose the darker gray. Very nice. Like that one. Ooh. Ooh, it's never ending. Okay, we got here a lollipop. Nice. Open it up. That's very, that's, that's nice. I think uh, I like the pink. I like the orange, you know, a bit, bit of purple in there. A little bit of, it, it transitions well. I like it. You can see it, how it goes off from the orange to a light orange and then hits up with the pink. That one's pretty too. I like it. Mm, I like this one a lot. This one's very light though. Very light. Nothing wrong with light colors though. Very pastel. Look at that one. This one is called, let's look and see. Chalk. Chalk. That's pretty. So this is kind of just like a very pastel, um, kind of a pastel rainbow, I would I would guess. You, you know, you've got some light. I don't even know. You just, very light pink. Very light greens. Very light yellows. No, I guess it's not really pastel rainbow. It's just extremely pastel. That'd be great for a baby blanket, really, to tell you the truth. That's absolutely beautiful. And it's so soft. I like that one a lot as well. Very pretty. What do we have here? This one's called Spectrum. Spectrum. I like the name. Spectrum. Lots of colors, maybe. Very pretty. Yep, lots of colors in there. Very pretty. We got oranges. We got pinks. We got greens. We got purples. We got blues. It's just a spectrum of color. I like that one. Nice. Beautiful. Sweet raspberry one. That's very similar to the one I just showed. Why don't we hold them up and see what the difference in these two are. So this one's called Sweet Raspberry. I can see that, yeah, it's a bit different. Here's the spectrum that I just showed. Yeah, yeah. now you hold them together. They are similar, but they are different. This one does have a little bit more of that raspberry color in it as you can see but it still has a lot of colors as far as the uh, pumpkin oranges you know the coppery color the blue it's got a little bit of green up in there very pretty i like that one too nice hey i'm getting down to the end so my video this one's <laughs> pretty too it's very pastel as well this one is called Cotton candy. Of course it is. Of course it is. No other name would suit it better. Very pretty. So I think that might be more of a pastel rainbow versus this other one that I showed. Yeah. This again would make a gorgeous, gorgeous baby blanket. But I mean, it would make anything very pretty. Lots of colors going on in there. Pastel blue, purple, uh, pinks and oranges and yellows and greens. They all transition very nicely. Yeah, that's a nice pastel rainbow. I like that one. I do. I like the rainbow pastel or bright, <laughs> any color. Uh, let's see what we got here. This one is called Autumn. Very promising name for me. Autumn colors are my, are my favorite. Ooh, that one's gorgeous. Look at this one. That's got all Bag of Days favorites in it. Look at that one. So we got the very, very beautiful like honey mustard gold going off into the green here, like avocado green. Beautiful, beautiful burgundy. Very, very, uh, I don't know what you even call that, burgundy. Not really. Brick red, maybe. A, a light brick red. So a little bit of brown up in there. Purple here. That's very pretty. Very appropriate name, I think. Look at the shine on that. Just think of your project. That's gonna be so beautiful. And it's just so soft. Okay, moving on.
This one we have is called a Brilliant. Brilliant. There we go. Lots, lots going on in there. That to me is going to be a little busy looking, but it's still very pretty. Um, we got some turquoise blue there. Yellow is going on. Some more of that raspberry and purple. Looks like a little bit of marbling. Not much, but some yellow. It's a busy one, but it's still very, very pretty. It's going to have a nice striping effect. Mm -hmm. I just, I'm down in my last couple. And then I'll, then I'll leave. This one is very similar to a color Lion Brand. If you've seen Lion Brand Landscapes, it's very similar to this, only it's a bit thicker. This is uh, in a, a dead ringer for a color that they have um, in the landscapes. That's okay. Like I said, they use yarn companies use the same colors all the time. I have some yarn unforgettable, Red Heart Unforgettable over there. I can see some of the exact colors that I see up here right now. Look at that. Oh, I made a, uh, that's beautiful. I have a, a nice uh, caplet on my channel, a tutorial for it. You'll find it in that, in that tutorial list that I made out of Lion Brand Landscapes in, the, in this exact color. If you look on Lion Brand Landscapes, it'll be called Apple Orchard. But this one is called, um, the un unforgettable color is called Electric, or the, I'm sorry, Loops and Threads brand is called Electric. It's very beautiful. I like it. It's almost identical, I would say, to Lion Brand Landscapes as, as far as their color, but it is thinner. But if you've used lamb, Landscapes and Unforgettable, you know that they're very similar. Only, only one is thicker than the other. Nice. I like that one. Okay, I'm down to my last two colors. Oh, this is pretty. This one is called Vivid, huh? Vivid. I like this one because I like that touch of silver that they put in it. It really makes it pop. So that striping effect is going from the purple to that pinky raspberry color um, into that silver and back into the blue and green. That silver is really going to make your uh, article pop. That's, that's really pretty. I like that one. Vivid. Okay, I got one more. This is going to be for my purple lovers on my channel here. I know I got some of those too. This one is called Violet. Well, I wouldn't call it anything else. So it's pretty, it's all purples, all done up there from, you know, the lightest purple that you can get to, you know, the purple on it, the darkest purple isn't the darkest purple. It's still pretty like a medium. But I think that they're going to transition well from a light to a lighter into a medium purple. It's very pretty. I like it. So that's all the colors of Michael's new uh, faucet, faucet yarn. I like him. I do. Do I have a favorite? Of course. <laughs> it's hard to choose. I do. I do love them all. And I think they're all very pretty. Some of them would have to, you know, you would need a special stitch because of the, some of them are a little bit busier than others. But of course, I'm going to stick with my initial favorite being this, this flame one. I really like this, but you know, um, I really like the, the pastel ones as well. This uh, is the cotton candy would be a very, very beautiful one. I would choose as, as well as the autumn one. Very much my colors. Um, you know what? They're all very pretty and it, it, it's really hard to choose when there's so many colors to choose from your, you know, my favorite. I mean, they're all gorgeous and they will all be gorgeous in their own way, depending on what project you use them for. But which one was your favorite? Let me know in the comments. You know what? They're all my faves. I love them all. But I do have plans for that orange one for certain. And then that, uh, this one I uh, purchased as well. I have plans for. I don't know where it went. It's gone. It's gone. I guess you'll see it when I put the tutorial out. So thanks everybody for watching. And I apologize for my video being too long. But there were a lot of colors to show. Please don't forget to hit, to hit that subscribe button if you haven't. And turn the notifications on because I have more 
new Michael's yarn that I want to show you, which I'll be showing you in the coming days. And so you don't want to miss out on my tutorials. I have some lovely tutorials coming up. And look at the link below at, at my all my other tutorials. Um, maybe you'll find something there that you, that you want to make. You never know. So I will see you guys on my next video. All right. Love you all. Stay safe, okay? Bye, guys.